Too bad. I gotta finish the laundry as well. Got a couple loads. Excuse me, I'm pretty frustrated because this is my third time doing this voiceovers and honestly, I hate doing voiceovers, but it seems like the video do better when I do the voiceover. So let's do the voiceover, shall we? So this day I was feeling a bit overwhelmed. You know, I has, you know when you have so much to do and your mind is just going crazy and you're just running around the house and you're just grabbing stuff and you're like, oh my God, like. It's so much to do, like, where do I begin, you know? Oh, what am I supposed to say next? Okay, so, making YouTube videos, it helps me kind of just focus and stay in one spot and kind of just rest my mind and just focus, like, focus, royal focus, because the camera only shoots at one angle. You know what I'm saying? So that helps me, but experts say that you should clean the entire house at the same time for your time, okay? To get things done faster. Boom. So, I'm feeding her wet can food. I really stress this to pet owners to try to give your cat the most realistic thing to an animal as possible because you got to remember they are animals and they are the, uh, the pests that are carnivores eat meat. They don't eat fake meat or like 1% meat, the dry stuff. They eat meat. So, if you can't cook real, you know, like chicken duck or whatever the bare minimum you could do is give them wet canned food they have it at dollar tree family dollar and walmart um i get mine from walmart it seems to be cheaper i get the fancy fees she sheba i think that's what it's called um and thanks to my wish list warriors i have tiki and paws paws is the best if you can afford it get it because it doesn't have nothing but what it's supposed to have which is the meat and like rice and like that's it i love it it's p a w s okay but yeah thank you for watching
All right, I got to tell y'all the backstory on these shoe racks because it wasn't even my idea. It was a subscriber. Christina, shout out to Christina, y'all. Wishlist Warrior. It was her idea to get me something to organize this messy house, okay? So I was thinking, thinking, you know, I thought of a few things and I was like, you know what? A shoe rack would be great. So she got me one shoe rack, but it was a little defect with it, with the screw. No big deal. You know, I know how to improvise. Um, But... Um, I advised her to, you know, get some of her money back from Amazon. And guess what? She's so kind. She wasn't even trying to get nothing for herself. She got me a, a free shoe rack. Woo! So I got two. I needed two, actually. But most of these shoes are for the kids. Um, if you see some beat up, um, dirty shoes, those are me and Wavies. Yeah. And, um, uh, what else I had to say? Um, oh, okay. So... Yeah, so basically, I wanted to say this was the whole point of me talking about this. Like, if you're trying to make your house look aesthetically pleasing or just trying to organize it, you know, you had kids, try to get something like that's going to help you put something in a space, like an organizer, a shoe rack, a shelf, or something like that. We're going to talk about that more later on in the video, so y'all stay tuned. So y'all see this couch, right? Lord, Lord, Lord. I just cover up the stains. I done gave up on this couch. I'm so ready to just throw it on a curb. It cost me, this couch cost me like $400. I got it in 2020. It was real cute. It was real cute. It was given. But now it's just gave out. It's, <clears throat> it, when you sit on it, you get sick, literally, like asthma attacks and all kind of things. I don't know what's really good with it, but hey, it is what it is. But if y'all have any advice on how to get these stains up and how to freshen up that couch, please leave it down in the comment section. Hold up, honey. Hold up. Let me clean it first. Hold up. Oh, yeah. 
One thing I really try to stick with is keeping my walls looking clean. I just hate when I walk into somebody's house and automatically, like, you can tell they have kids because there's handprints, there's just, like, random dirt spots. It's It looks really, really bad. My front door, I mean, is filthy. Like, I need to clean it. And there's other doors and walls that I really need to tend to, but I try to stay on it. Um, especially when it's like really noticeable because I don't want the stains to just sit and sit and it'll be harder to clean in the future. I hope this video is so far 
getting you to get motivated just mentally you know we got to take the first step the first step is like just to mentally get prepared like okay look i'm gonna do this and then the next step is to put that action to it but yeah i want to talk about this thing this thing wasn't from a kid this thing was from my cat <laughs> she spilled over over a cup of soy sauce and yeah that's what we had to clean up both of the walls and i got tired of cleaning walls so way we stepped in he just woke up and he stepped in to help me finish the walls I just wanted to clear something up. I had made a video and said that we're expecting, but it was clickbait. I'm sorry, guys. I have to clickbait. That's just like what we have to do as content creators. But I, I don't totally lie. Like we were expecting something that that was in the video, but I'm not pregnant. Um, you guys will know because we will tell you that we are trying to get pregnant because we're gonna plan everything. So you will know before i'm even pregnant that we're trying so you guys will know everything and it was just like a little joke you know we was acting like we was we was both pregnant in target and in that video i'll link it down below if i remember and just holding our stomachs and just teasing the fact that we're you know overweight obese obese but yeah that was just a little joke oh yeah just wanted to clear that up and thank you for the guys who actually are supporting that that was so sweet i read you guys comments Thank you. 
welcome to my future living room. But anyway, we're going to go over some organizing tips really quick. Group similar items into categories. You can find exactly what you need in a pinch. In this case, the most useful baking tools were kept together along with a range of sprinkles and sugars for decorating sweet treats. Shelf risers give you double the space for storage. Keep short jars underneath the toilet sprays and bottles up top so you can easily spritz and go. Stick adhesive pockets to the inside of your spice cabinet to keep all of your grocery lists, coupons, and recipes in one spot. Add a pen loop so you don't have to go searching to jot something down. A piece of copper pipe from your local hardware store can create space for hanging pots, measuring cups, and other kitchen accessories. And kitchen items like cutting boards and baking pans are best kept upright, whether for visual appeal or just to make them easy to grab. The reason why I'm washing these is because one came open, therefore it was like really molded and a terrible smell and it just affected all of them. So I had to kind of soak these to get that smell out. 